boys and girls. This week's letter bucket story has to do with the letter M. This is a capital M. When you write the capital letter M, you start at the top. Big line down, frog hop to the top, big diagonal line down, big diagonal line back up, big line back down to make the capital M. This is our lowercase m. When you write the lowercase m, you start in the middle. Little line down, rabbit hop up and over to the middle, rabbit hop again up and over to the outside. And that's the lowercase m. Let's see what we have that begins with the mmm sound for m. I have a mop. Mop starts with m. I have some milk. Milk starts with M. I have a mailbox. Mailbox starts with M. I have a mirror. Mirror starts with M. I have a mouse. Mouse starts with M. And finally, I have a mug. Mug starts with M. Now let's get ready to tell our story. Remember our story must have a character. The character is a person or an animal. Look closely and see what you think our character is this week. That's right, Mouse is going to be our character. He is an animal. Now our story also has to have a setting. The setting tells us when and where. Mouse is going to be at his house this week. He's going to be at his house and it's going to be on a cool and uh, cold and sunny day. One cold sunny day, Mouse woke up and he stretched his arms and he thought about what he was going to do today. And he decided he was going to write a letter to his grandma that he could take to the mailbox. He was going to write a letter to his grandma that he could mail to her. So he sat down at his kitchen table and while he was sitting there, he decided he was kind of thirsty. So he would pour himself a mug of milk. He got a mug out of the cupboard and he got the milk out of the refrigerator and started to pour. As he was pouring, the milk was so heavy it slipped off and fell on the floor and made a mess. What does he need to use to clean up that mess? That's right, he's going to use the mop. So he mops up his mess, puts the mop back away, and then finishes a little more carefully pouring his milk. Puts the milk back in the refrigerator so it doesn't get sour. And then he sits down and drinks his milk and writes his letter to grandma. As he's writing his letter, he's drinking his milk and when he finishes writing the letter, he seals it in an envelope, puts a stamp on it and writes her address so he can mail it. He finishes up that milk and sometimes, what happens when you drink milk so fast? That's right, sometimes it gives you a milk mustache. So he wants to make sure he cleans that milk mustache off and looks to see if it is all gone. Where can he check to see if that milk mustache is all gone? That's right, he can look in the mirror. So he uses his napkin, wipes off his, his mouth, and then he looks in the mirror and he says, ooh, I'm looking good today. Boys and girls, I want you to try saying that with me. And I want you to say that about yourself because every day you should be saying, I'm looking good today. Try it with me on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. I'm looking good today. Very good. And then Mouse decides he's going to head on out with his letter to Grandma. He goes to the mailbox, puts his letter in, and comes back home and waits. What do you think Grandma might do when she gets that letter? That's right. She might write him a letter back 
or she might come visit him and see what he is up to. Boys and girls, I'm glad you listened to my story today. And thanks for listening, and I'll see you again for another letter.